two, two one. finally. A ceremonial flip of the switch that has been more than a lifetime in the making. We are ushering a new era in marine renewable energy and taking an unprecedented step toward, toward a lower carbon future. People have long dreamed about this day, the day they tamed the mighty Bay of Fundy tides, the highest in the world. 160 billion tons of seawater in and out twice a day. And now, with North America's first in-stream turbine turning and electricity flowing to the shore and into the grid, it's the first confirmation they can harness that power. It hasn't been easy. There was a previous attempt in 2009 to deploy a turbine. Eight and a half million dollars later, the massive tides chewed up the equipment. The blades have gone. Proponents had to overcome a court challenge to halt the turbines over fears of damaging the fishery clearing the way to install a new, more robust turbine. The forces back then were, were much greater than we had anticipated, which means, of course, the, the energy potential of the bay is much greater than we had anticipated. It has been re-engineered, significantly re-engineered. All of this is not lost on a province that still relies heavily on coal for power. It just cut a deal with Ottawa to keep coal burning past a new federal deadline of 2030. And while Nova Scotia has made huge strides to reduce greenhouse gases, now it's looking to the ocean. The whole world is watching Nova Scotia, not only today, but they've been watching Nova Scotia for the last number of years and they will continue to watch because they know that the Bay of Fundy tides are the strongest tides in the world. This trial turbine is small and more costly than the previous one, and it will only power about 500 homes. But a second is slated to be placed in the bay next year, and proponents hope there will be others one day, generating more green power, just as sure as the tide. Tom Murphy, CBC News, Halifax.